What is up guys? I'm in studio today with Andrew Colton, a music video DP slash director, and we're gonna do a three minute spitfire round on how you guys can get to where he's at in his career. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put three minutes on the clock and we're gonna do uh, a spitfire round and see how much we can get everybody in three minutes. So let's throw it up here on the clock and cancel stopwatch love your phone case by the way thank you you like that's my logo it's flamingos flamingo donuts bro all right and we got three minutes on the clock so how to get started where should people start i guess you know you need to find what you're passionate about and then try to create visuals for it at what point were you able to start charging for your work i mean it took a while um, when you first start out, you know, I recommend people do a couple things, you know, for free or for exposure. I know everybody hates that term, but without a portfolio to show people, it's really hard to, to quote yourself accurately. And so, um, what's like the best way to meet other like-minded individuals who are also working in the industry? What's worked for you since you started? Um, when I first started, I actually uh, found a mentor. Finding somebody who's really good in the field, and um, trying to gain as much knowledge and be as close to that as possible is always a good start. How did you find your first mentor? I found my first mentor, I met him at a bar actually, says oddly enough. Uh, my second mentor I, I met while I was in film school. And uh, the third was just a popular uh, director um, who found some of my work online and liked what I was doing and asked if I would help out. Nice. So, uh, what do you think are some of like the the key skills that a DP director should have in order to you know provide their clients with the best quality work? Really focus on, on story when you're first starting out, because obviously you're not going to have the most expensive gear, and that's okay. But if you put out you know good images and, and really you know compelling stories, you'll do all right. Um, and so, what what has taken your career to the next level? I'd say really it's the reels that I keep putting out. I put one out almost every year and the quality keeps getting better and the content keeps getting better and, and that helps a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, if someone were trying to you know, land their first few clients or whatever the case is, do you have any tips on you know, where to look or you know, how to, to get them to basically pay for our, for our art? Um, that's a tough one. You know, um, you gotta put it out there that you make music videos and um, broadcast that everywhere, go to shows, hand out cards, um, you know, the old feet to pavement type deal. Um, try not to give everything away, you know, say, oh, let's set up a meeting and just try to reach out to as many people as possible. There's nothing wrong with, you know, going to a band page and contacting them, asking if they need something. I totally agree. Um, so uh, what's like one solid piece of advice that, that would probably help them, you know, move forward in, in their career? my advice would be is to start focusing what you're best, you know, focusing on what you're best at. You know, if you're really good at lighting, focus on that. Collaborate, let people come in with their own stories, let people direct that are better that, at directing than you. You know, um, if you focus on one thing and you can do it extremely well, you'll end up progressing in the industry. Yep. All right, well, that was three minutes uh, real fast and so we will have an extended cut uh, put up at a later time about our conversation after our Spitfire round. If you guys enjoyed that, definitely stick around. I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, so let's <coughs> let's chill out a little bit, right? Uh, now that we don't have like a time pressure or anything like that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>